Hello, my name is Jonathan, and I am a Ubisoft Star player, as well as a member of the Ghost Recon Delta Company. And I will have the pleasure to showcase to you the new immersion settings in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, as you can see, we are very injured, and in a normal playthrough, we would uh, have an infinite number of bandages. We don't. In fact, we only have five of them here. And that is because I chose the setting to be several bandages, rather than unlimited or anything else. I want to stress that anything you will see here is my personalized settings. These can be applied to a new game or an existing save file. So you don't have to start a new game or start a new game mode to apply the immersion settings. Other settings I have chosen to have is that I can only carry one primary weapon at a time. And uh, I can only use the shops uh, in Arrow 1. I can't shop anything from Bivouacs. Now, the way the new weapon system works is that if I have a blueprint of something, I can equip it. But I can't do so now, obviously. So, instead, we will have to try and find a primary weapon some other way. And there might be tangos up ahead that might just want to provide a weapon for me. Heads down. Let's stay down for the moment. And wait for the tangos to maybe not look my way. We have tangos up ahead. Now I want to stress the fact that I do have enemy marking on. Because I find it convenient. Uh, you can toggle it off if you like. But I have decided to keep it on for reasons that the ghosts have always shown to have augmented gear. And target marking should be part of it. Even if it's not... Painfully obvious right now. Tango down. That's two of them down. Let's keep it. Let's check what they've got in the terms of weapons. Now, this guy have a stair aug. And this guy is lugging around a G36. We'll take the G36. Now, you'll notice that Nomad will check the magazine. And insert the magazine. And we are ready to rock and roll. Now, this guy has a poor taste in optics. Let me just say that. So, we got the G36K. And we are slowly making our way towards the crash site. We also have a crate up ahead. The crate may contain a weapon or it may contain a gear item. But either way, none of the weapons enemies or gear in this playthrough has any score. In f um, switch for the 416, no, we're not gonna do that. I am very fond of the G46. My soldiers. Speaking of the G46, we could open the inventory screen. As you can see, it is vastly different. We have an ability to customize our outfit here and customize our weapons. What we do not have is anything else. So, here is uh, what I was talking about. These are the guns that I have uh, blueprints for, for, from one way or another. As you can see, there are several battle pass rewards here. So, those are not lost in a new playthrough. My Terminator weapons are sadly not in there, but I'm kind of hoping they will fix that. Because running around with the Uzi would be fun without having to buy it new from the shop. Now... It wouldn't really be fun if we just switched guns right here. So, rather we are going to, to equip our G46 in the gunsmith right here. The upgrade mechanic is still present. And I'm not really sure what I think of that, to be honest. But I think it's as non-intrusive as it could be. Now, I'm going to be switching my red dot sight. It's not very realistic that I'm doing that. But I'm doing so anyway because... I just want to have a better red dot sight. Also, I'm Swedish, so, you know, aim point. Everyone says, like, IKEA when it comes to Sweden, I say aim point. And our buddy is KIA. Well, that's a disappointment. We ain't getting back up from him. 
nowhere to go. Though we need to look and see where else we might be going. As you can see, stuff like minimap and the objective markers are still there, so I have turned down the settings, meaning that the minimap will just be a map for the most part. So it will help me with navigation, but if I toggle it correctly, it will not show any enemy activity. And here's the thing, if you want to alter a setting, you can do so at any time. You can just pull up the menu, you can change the settings, you can even change back to gear score, so I have no idea why on earth you would want to switch back to the gear score. I must confess that this mo mode is a boon, and will probably contribute to me playing Breakpoint a lot more. So I think we got tangos up ahead. Yeah, at least two tangos. And as it stands, we are in a shit of a situation here. So we are going to be advancing very quietly. We need to try and find a decent where we can take the shot. We also need to look around us to make sure that the enemy is... We can open this crate and let's see what's in it. So that was gear, enhanced field cap. And this is, uh, once again, we'll ju I'll just go to the inventory to show you. I can't equip that as a gear item. However, if I want to, I can go into this and you'll see that the enhanced field cap has now appeared in my settings of um, items that I can equip for visual purposes. So only visual. There's no gear score attached. I know I'm repeating that a lot and I will probably repeat it again. But the reason I'm doing that is because I'm actually very happy with that being a thing, so... Well, you guys need to keep your head on a swivel. You can't just go around and think no one is gonna shoot you. I mean, you're in a... You're in a war zone. And you have an M4A, that's crap. And you have a Tavor, that's not as much crap. But I'll keep my G36, thank you. So the airship hangar seems to be vacated for the moment. There's a bunker up ahead, some scripture on the bunker wall. Keep it low, slow, and steady. I don't even have any grenades, goddammit. But we'll check out the bunker nonetheless. We are summoning the devil. Yes, indeed you are, but not in the way you think, my old friends. Or rather, my near friends. There's body parts everywhere. I saw an arm. Myself an arm. So let's have a look and see. We have a heavy gunner attack vest there. We don't need that. So they just basically said that if even one of the guys lived through that, they're gonna have a serious situation on their hands. Yeah, I kind of would agree with that statement. That's four fewer tangos to contend with. You had a G36, we're not gonna change that. That's actually a bit interesting, because... 533, five, three, A6 Sour. Um, I do wish they would change the name of the G36, because this is the G36K. It's not the G36C. And the fact that this has a long barrel makes it the G36K. And here's the thing. I like the fact that it's the G36K more. Because I'm a little bit worn out with the G36C. G36 so the fact that this is the G36K, I, I like that. I really fucking like it. But I just want it to be named as such because I'm a pedantic when it comes to guns. At least to a point, and I think that is why Ghost Recon is actually a game I do favor over games like Squad or Arma. 
I mean, I'm always a gameplay first kind of guy. So, we are gonna go here. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! Well, we're gonna be trying to avenge Weaver immediately. It's not going to be easy. But we are definitely going to try. What Fuck! We missed him. We gotta beat back and do a fighting retreat against the wolves here. We'll flank down on the left and prepare to receive the enemy. Two wolves are down, the rest of them seems to be continuing onwards. Hey you fuckers, come over here and fight. I'm not landing the shots at this range. There we go. More wolves. Reload. One habit I have that is a really poor one is that I usually reload far too often. Also, I need to start hitting shit if I'm gonna survive this. Relocate, left flank. I usually reload too often, and one of the features I've, I've activated is the fact that... Uh, headshots... Is that if I reload, then my... The Nomad will throw the mag away. So, and as you can see there, minus eight. That is the ammunition I lost due to reloading. So, at least Walker will have left the scene. But when he gets back, he will learn that the entire wolf force that accompanied him is dead. And hopefully he will take that little lesson to heart. Now we're going to continue throughout the swamp. We have two tangos right there. And some more across the swamp, but they are all sentinel. So they should hopefully not provide too much of a challenge. We got two more sentinels right there. Look for blood trail. Ah! You ain't got shit. Let's keep it going. This guy have 416. I wouldn't want to be these guys quartermaster. I mean, they have tons of different rifles. Getting spare parts for all the weapons and carbines that they are using is gotta be hell. I mean, it's not something I would li like to do. But then again... Logistics is something I only like in certain games. I'm not really fond of working with logistics in the real life. Then again, amateurs discuss tactics. Professionals discuss logistics. Well, we missed that. We missed that. Fortunately, our suppressor made sure that we stayed concealed, but we are running low here. We only have like one mag left. We'll better make the most of it and go away, please. Okay, so we got scale credits, but we didn't get any ammunition. So we better be very, very careful here. Try and find some ammunition 
or anything that can be used to fight the enemy. Now we can we can actually che check on our secondary weapon. We have plenty of ammunition for that one. So, but for our primary, we are still stuck on 23 rounds and no way to. Okay, so we can grab a G28 DMR, but we're not gonna do that. I think the G36 is going to be far more versatile in the situations up ahead. Mayday, Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go seat out. Right, so we still don't have that much ammunition. And we have a really large force ahead of us. I think evasion is going to be the order of the day. Also should have checked the train tracks before crossing to make sure that we didn't run into anything. While it is tempting to take one of the vehicles, I think that it would be too much an indication that there is prepared resistance on the island. I think I would prefer to simply try and evade the enemy force and whatever whatever shooting we need to do is going to be highly localized. Of course stamina is one of the things that you can adjust how often it will be refilled. One of the things I've chosen to do is actually to permanently hide the stamina bar. So I will not be forewarned if my if Nomad is going to be rolling down the mountain when she comes. So rather we are going to be proceeding towards the objective. And we have a checkpoint up ahead and we're just passing the old tracks. Hopefully we will be able to get there without too much trouble, but um, Sentinel seems to appreciate trouble, so we are going to be moving upwards. Yeah, I got Ice and Sentinel in the village. At least two of them, but it doesn't look like they are all that alert, which seems par for the course here. I mean, they don't seem to be actually watching for trouble here. That's few fewer sentinels to contend with. So we are going to move up. Have a look and see what we might actually not have a choice in this we might have to swap weapons simply to grab ammunition yeah both of them have ak-12s but it doesn't look that like they have that much more ammunition for them so we're simply going to switch back and uh, while I would prefer to have AK-12 uh, caliber rounds, the G-36 is far more versatile. So we are going to continue our... Ju actually, we'll just grab the car. It's, it's far better that way. It will also afford us an, an amount of protection we won't otherwise get, so... We will be continuing up the road, and we will be making sure to not run into too much trouble. Hopefully Sentinel will be not be missing this car. 
but either way we should be make sure to park it well away from our destination so that any tracking ship or tracking software in it oh crap enemies on the bridge actually if they report me in we are going to be in some serious trouble so well, there's just one of them left let's jump out and shoot the I mean, for a private military contractor, he is absolutely trash. He had the ability to shoot right there. Also, uh, MK-17. Like I said, the the um, quartermaster for the Sentinel's gotta be a very unhappy person. So, we are almost at the destination that we got tipped off, and hope that was some more abandoned vehicles. Hopefully they'll just think that, yeah, we are actually going to do this. Sadly, we can't just push it off the edge. It would be fun if we could just do that, but... It's better if we just park it there and make it look like a patrol has left somewhere in the jungle or whatever. So... As you can see, we can still hunt for... Uh, for uh, resources and stuff like that. The crafting system is still active when it comes to the... Uh, the new experience so you can still craft stuff on the go and use these items in your battle now we are almost here and i do not intend to spoil the arrival or for you who have maybe gone through it before repeat the experience so i'm just going to have a look at that awesome armadillo and i will be seeing you in my next video that will be about the single player experience of the echelon class so thank you for sticking with me and um, see you guys next time